Yeah, and interesting to have that turret there. I, think, I don't think that's something that we've seen a whole lot of. Mind you, the kills are starting to come on through. They don't need the turret to get the... I built up Vice's lockdown for the future, so that's one other thing that they could actually try to gain from here. They actually do spot the player at boat. Boy will get the pick onto Jangler. That means now the spike actually can make its way into B site, and indeed it will plant. There's no doubt about that. Holding off the retake, gonna be a different story with Silva already so vulnerable, and with Noble having that man advantage. Heaps of information, though, as soon as they peek, you know, that turret did end up going down. Oh, and boy, actually falls after hitting that plant, trying to escape the paint kills. And the footsteps are heard. Turret to spot that out. Precision actually able to find one with that pistol. He took him this round, and Menace picks up another. So you still got the Spectres online, quite possibly. A rifle in the hands. And Bucks able to cut down, now leaving it to two remaining for no ones. They look to find this retake. Low HP, though, on Mata. That could be a quick kill, should they find it. That can, you, oh, you just don't have the firepower to shoot for the box, unfortunately. And Mana, yeah. able to find three to click at a plant, but obviously they know what they're up against. And that wall is on that back side. Again, that's what I was talking about earlier. Watch that, how that sage wall can get used to peak angles onto the side itself. And there was a shrouded step to go up top, so Seb kind of in an awkward position playing that off angle. We're once in a 4v4. Seb actually gonna find that kill from the off angle. Cutting it down to a 4v3 and Ambox is saving. The spike has been landed. Yay, goes good for another kill. So does Seb. Two, four. He had a teammate close behind in the jangler. There's that second ultimate going down. Mod actually gonna get caught on the flank. So things looking a bit more doable. Gonna push everybody away. This lockdown, it's a bit awkward, right? It's not in that tree position, so there's a whole lot of real estate over towards a main. Everybody backs on up, they're forced to push in the cosmic divide, and they're starting to find the kills while doing it. Jangler playing up close and personal. Now, you can't really hear this spike, so this is a tough spot, and guess what, Zekin? They don't need to go through the wall. They've got shock darts to get it done. The defuse from Jangler and, you know, create openings or at least put pressure on your op opponent. There's now Aimbos goes chasing for people trying to save weapons. Stop clearing them out as well. And he's gone. That is one you oh wish no. you had back, it. especially for Zekin looking to back him up. And I thought uh, having that information that Noble have a win here. The shots come through the wall, boy. With a spot out king and take him down. It, again, it, it's slowly starting to come crumbling what? down as Hold it's on. looking like oh. a 6 to 3 lead. Yeah, I mean, this, this round couldn't have gone worse for Noble. They tried that not for the first time. It gets immediately eradicated. They lose the follow-up player all through the time the trade. And then it just snowballs. Absolutely crushed is Noble in this round. And I mean, they're just not getting anything. Jangler finally able to pull one back. But I mean, what can he do by himself? Ooh, he's getting a whole lot done, unfortunately. Oxo burning some utility there. Run. Now they will commit with the lockdown on to B side. Either stay and stand and bang or get locked down towards the back of the site. And unfortunately, King only good for one kill here in this round. It's all up to Precision, who's used a handful of utility. Able to take down Ye, and I would say that... And, all the way. I mean, you're one nano swarm away from having a bad day. There goes the alarm bot jumping right for the switch. Unfortunately, not able to grab it just yet, but they do trade the kills. You will gladly take that a three-for-one trade across the board. Precision low on HP, and unfortunately, the regrowth does not help for Sky herself. And this is where it starts the comeback. Looking to get mounted. A frenzy, a shock dart, and a recon bolt could be enough for Boy to try and turn things around. And some low HP on a few members. Shock dart could have chipped down at Zekin. Only takes a headshot now for a couple of these players on the noble side. Maybe all four of them should Boy be able to find it. But instead, he's going toe to toe with a turret. Noble again gearing up for an A attack seems to be their favorite target thus far. A couple of defenders already on site, and Ye now making his rotation as well through Heaven's side. Second, just holding the line as the rest now gather, looking to lay some utility down and just try to get in there. Stars are being placed, so obviously now Ambox knows what's up. Han will lead the charge, try to get that initial intel, and it will get the stun on Mata. That's big. Seb guarding him for now, but not for long. Ooh, but second, picking up two just as big there. Unfortunately, Mata not able to find the angle. Instead, it's Jangler with the Sheriff, no less. And that door already closed means for a clean take onto the A side. And boy, once more finds himself in a clutch Standing position. Ahead. Full HP uh -oh. in the dart. Ooh, yeah, just a little it. wide left. It tags the wall in front of him. And unfortunately, there's, there's no information to be found there. Nah, that's... uh. 
That's what feels bad. I think they would say. Big bonus round conversion though for Noble. That really gets them back in the race here for this map. They're gonna meet soon. That's the cool thing, because you were able to use the silver drone just to clear out A main because you kinda left that open early, and now you still have the trailblazer left. You have you King putting it. pressure on B site to keep them interested. Blocking vision and now the Compass Divide and other utility for Masters gonna send this attack into A side. And back and forth, the Bucky still online here. Ooh, not able to find it. The left click to the head doesn't do enough damage as they're right next to each other between the wall. And they're running out of time. The spike now down on the ground and the lurk all the way from B. Now doing that. He's gonna get that door closed. Spots out one towards the back of the site, but they're just holding it down. No entrance here. Seven Mata. I have to make oh. No second. Picks up a double kill with the shock darts. And with just enough time, spike should be able to get that spike planted. And this oh, time, nice. the lurk might pay off. No, it might be too far away again. King trying to the site, and they do just that. A little bit of damage on the omen could be healed up. And he's right next to his teammate and doing so, but King still on the flank. Making sure nobody lurks on up, finds two kills. Absolutely huge to keep Noble in the running here. Gravity Well trying to pull one in. Mata gonna get tagged up by the Trailblazer, so slow down for just a second. You should run. There's the Hunter Fury in response as Menace tries to dash away. It goes just a bit wide, but Mata on the kill feed. Finding two, finding three. Now looking to close it out, a 2v2 with the lockdown being used. Menace oh, no. just narrowly escapes away from the hot hand, so able to just hold it down in and box. Running out of time. Noble down to their last 53 HP. A shock guard is all it yeah. took for Boy to find another kill, but Menace starting to cut him down, and Mata has to go huge. He's got to find a kill and defuse right here, right now. But he is going to be out of time, looking to hurt the economy. Instead of getting some space for the alarm bot, going to slow them down, and so is Mata's counter flash. Mm. Mata actually pushing on it. He does get spotted, though, but he's still able to find a kill, and Seb is there to back. We are seeing King get pretty deep, but Jay has spawn covered, and he will find the dome of King. And that puts Ambox up into a four on two. B slight a little bit vulnerable as Boy doesn't have Standing any rotation ahead. just yet. But as soon as I said that, Ye has now made his way into the back halls as the orb is being collected by Zekin for later. And they're going to have to just let this round go. But at least they got the orb out of it, I guess. But that is a very small victory, right? I mean, it doesn't yeah. amount to much. Not when you're just far behind. Longer range right click, but it does feel like it's only Menace if he's going to use those blast pack, double blast pack in and try and make a play that can use the Bucky. So you see even a stinger from Ada to put to use for intel or for retake or just really anything they feel is necessary. Except finds another and it seems like this is over with Tanner. I mean, I, I find it hard to get back. Yeah, I mean, they do have both. They had the numbers advantage. Boy playing inside the switch. Not sure if Mata actually got spotted there. Unfortunately, not going to find a kill. Precision to pick up two off the back end of Sebs. And the A-Site opened up a bit. Two teleports, though, so they do, know, they do know that two are on the flank as Jangler looks to get that spike down. This time on the army, no longer on that Astra. And a cam going to keep short all clear. It's down to the last three, but this around, anything can happen. We'll see if they can get things started, boy. Going to go aggressive, the first to peek with the ghost. Fault line going to be queued up. We got the... Yeah, that was an awkward angle. It looked like it's coming for Precision for a second. Unfortunately, Precision not able to find a 3k on the round. Means Noble down to their last three. And Ice going to grab a tap quite possibly on the Spike King. Maybe looking for a swing off the back end. Able to find the first kill. Looking for some more. Paint Shell is going to deny things for a moment longer. Vice still alive. As Out from walking forward towards Hookah position. So again, just kind of keeping things slowed and allowing that A defense to stay in place, but quickly rotate if need be to the portal with assistance. And they're really doing a good job of stalling Noble, and they're also chipping away at their health. But now Noble looks to pounce. Information in the cyber cage. Boy gonna find the first kill. Jangler wanders in blindly. That spike has since been picked up as the Astro now taken off the board with the rotation through Hookah and they've got him pinched onto the site. What can they find with the Kings able to find three with the Spectres and the bonus going swimmingly well only for a moment longer. Precision. Now the last one standing in a 1v1 running out of time. Needs to get the spike planted and has a whole lot of utility to look to clutch this out. Two guiding lights. One gonna be tossed out the blind. Not going to be giving up the information. That one does, so still inside of Hookah. Trailblazer in the back pocket, and unfortunately that regrowth not going to get too much value this time around. We're just about the same in health, but obviously at Arsenal, that Phantom in the hands. 
Seb. Weighs a bit heavier, but it don't doesn't matter if you destroyed. don't have the A on Bind. The last two times these teams met. Full 5v5 retake and King, not even lurking inside showers, just playing counter lurk here. And he might yep. just find Mata as well. Unfortunately, doesn't have the camera for the information. He goes out with the swing and Mata's able to sit him down. But the information is there. One inside showers, quite possibly on the flank. And the spike is taken down. Here comes the rolling thunder. Trouted step to get away. Zekin, unfortunately, to get caught out there. Trying to use the showstopper. And boy, just continuing to go to work. Finding three. About to make it for no vi- uh, can Opping on Bind. Shazam shown us time and time again. So, Ye has that blueprint, I guess you could say. Oh, and they're just not even expecting, right? Crowd looking the other way. You don't even spot him up top. And the Shrouded Step doesn't clear the gap. Vice is able to sit that spike down on the floor, and Zekin, once caught off guard inside of U-Haul, now pushing mm -hmm. on it through the showers here, and 1v4, can't count him out just yet, he does have some utility, unfortunately doesn't have the sight window, and there's a sound cue, Seekers now online, fault line gonna go on through, as Noble look to battle back here, rifles in the hand. <laughs> Uh, trying to push on through. Zek is able to find one on the counter part, but so much damage there as the Cosmic Divide does come down, and there it is. It's horizontal, but it's coming over from this A site. Teleporter going to be taken. Maybe not heard. The lockdown going to be destroyed, and King trying to find Vice is able to do just that. Two for one as Vice gets traded. Up an ace with there is a star on the window. Vice obviously now knows what he's up against, at least on the long side. Let's see how it plays out. But I'm not sure if he had spotted him. Now will know that he's playing out towards long, and that operator has just rotated on over towards his B side. It's a low HP, getting the value. It's boy there to trade him back just in case. And a couple of kills go in the way of Ambox. Me, Noble again. They've got zero time. Now they've only just about got zero players left a lot. Making that Trailblazer have very little impact by having people covering whoever gets stunned. Kind of using that player as bait, so Noble are just kind of forced to consume. You, you drop that ultimate, and you get out of dodge, right? You can just continue to play retake, link up with the team, or buy some time for them to rotate over. Now the flashes start to come on through, boy. Nice little crossfire. It's actually the uh, three-player crossfire. One kill gonna be found on through, boy. Not spotted that entire time. Now since has been spotted, but it doesn't. Me, menace up close to personal with the judge. Spots out, boy. It's a huge name to take off the board. No longer gonna have those smokes available in the regrowth. Able to top them off there, Seb. In the meantime, has since traded a kill back. And that's the showstopper down. So a scary alt taken off the board. Now you no longer have to worry about it. Ooh. And we're two rounds away from the end of the half. And so much damage onto King. Going to be healed up. But no armor now on the Cypher means just about anything can find the one tap. Yeah, the problem is, is that they also have to be careful because with Noble having U-Haul control, they can easily teleport back over to B-side. So that's why they constantly have to kind of keep... That idea open. You even see Ye here on Silva having to watch defending spawn hallway right now. It's limiting Ambox's ability to hold this site. So Noble are doing a great job with short A control, keeping Ambox guessing. Now they commit the spike plant. They still have man advantage in the post plant, but Ambox do have the rolling thunder to use for the retake. And we've seen this story before, and it did not go well for Noble and Seb kicking things off just the way we saw it play out. The script has been written. And it's all scripted here at this point. Jangler, Sheriff in hand, gonna be sat down by the operator. Another kill to come through from Yane. It's all down to the last precision. Able to find a couple, but the spike is halfway, oh! and the clutch comes through. There at the end, as we kick this round off with a guiding light to get some information out towards long. There's the paranoia on the back end. Looking to find some more kills here on the defensive end this time around. And there it is. Two kills with Jangler right on the heels. Helping him out. And 9 HP might net the last... Be long, unfortunately, decision will fall, but hey, a favorable one to Seb. Just trying to make sure there's no forward progression. Mobile right outside of the showers area, and Zekin just taking the fight right to him. It's not oh, often no. that we get a teleport, but I mean, Zekin is a madman. Yeah, they both exchanged pain shells there, and Zekin just got a little bit better for wear. Only at 22 health, so he definitely, you know, ate a few to make that one work, but hey, he got the job done. Gets the early man advantage here for Noble. Menace stopping Seb from getting anything out of that push towards shower side and able to escape as well when he got pressured. And now Vice and company trying to still make this thing work though on A side. They're getting some space, but the rotation's been good so far here from Noble. They're ready to go. And they're right up on it. It is still that Sheriff online for precision. But hey, on the back end of that Sheriff, it's also the regrowth to keep his team nice and topped off. Guiding light. Try and find a flash. Seven to find two kills, two headshots at that to cut the numbers down. 
and make things a bit more digestible for this Anbox host plant. Most go through Seb to find a third. Seb just looking for the ace here. It's the absolute Seb show here in round 15. And inside the smoke, working against the clock is Noble. They're able to trade a couple of kills back. Now Seb has to get the ace. Not able to do it. Precision on the wide V4. Again, that Arsenal not great on the Ambox side of things. The Trailblazer to get stunted just shortly after being used. And they're basically just corralled on the site. And if this is where the fight happens, you have long to worry about from the defenders yep. here. Ping slowly creeping on up. Could be a huge thorn attacking side. Nice aftershock to find some space for Ye. He's able to find one, but the kills come right back, and there it is. King on the flank, able to pick up the kill. Actually cut it down. It's all up to King now on the flank. Things looking pretty dire. We're pretty close to a thrifty round win. Of course, Rambox immediately taken off the board, so aggression matched with aggression. As Menace was able to get that with the blade. Storm, and it's all starting to come crumbling now. Noble still looking to fight their way into a legend round. Jangler picks up two. Vice able to trade it back, but very close to falling. As that guiding light, he runs out of ammo, and the classic not out quick enough. It's all up to Ye. He's got 11 HP and has to play this post plan, oh, but Menace is being exactly that. A thorn in the side. Backing end, it, you kind of funnel everybody. Menace goes toe to toe with Seb and his sheriff. Takes quite a bit of damage, but is still able to find the kill. Now Noble get on the board all across the place. The Cosmic Divide. Now no longer available, that Hunter Shuri trying to creep away, but should be caught on out. And King on low HP, able to find Vice. It's looking like a flawless victory to get their way to fight. They keep getting that space in Octagon and Hookah, sure, but as soon as they try to cross that threshold of Elbow, or, you know, trying to actually push past Tube and challenge back Halls, they are losing all of those fights right now. I mean, look at their fair distribution on Noble right now. Now Sheriffs they to keep the game life on the line. Yeah, they drone and realize that B site again is wide open. So they're trying to take that space, but Ye just walks out by himself. That's just really too easy for King. And now he'll obviously get some rotation it. support. Cosmic Divide does go into play now from Ye, trying to cut off this site and try to push it together. No, before they actually found the stun, but they oh don't God. even clear it. And it's too late by the time that Vice does. Zekin's able to find two kills. They close it out. I digress. Run away, Dust. Map yes. number three. Winner moves forward. And Noble off. The, this was a good wall. It stopped everybody from being able to march on over. At least it stopped three players from being able to march on over. So, yeah, getting tonight of that one. And spike down once more. Leads it to the last two. But Vice slowly battling back. They bring up the rear right behind two players over towards this B site, and it might be even nice for them. I don't think they've got this information. They go one for one on it, and now it's a 1v1 wherever Vice goes, and it still looks like B site, the place to be. 56 health to his he name, no and no idea. What? Pops out the weapon, okay. hits the dink, oh Ooh. my. So looking to maybe run some type of split maneuver here. With a lot of rotations from Noble already, so they seem to be ready to go, but Ye does draw first blood. They're hoping to get that spike plant at the very least. The flash is absolutely huge there from Vice, and Jangler's able to cut down one, but that's it. Only one. And now in a 4v2, they've got a couple of upgraded weapons here. Dropping on down is King, the last one standing menace with the marshal in hand. Needs to go to work. Two members on low health. His position already given away is going to remove that dart. Classic and a marshal is all he's got right here. Able to use that reload spots out one able to hit that flick some way somehow still alive in this one and inside the cam is seb he takes a shot all you got to do is use the classic to close it out here but menace has to start trying to close it out because he's running out of time he's gonna hop on up one right click to get the headshot looking to get the defuse inside the smoke 12 hp and seb will not bite he has to go halfway. He's so low, and it's a thrift. Let's slow things down for now, and they're able to get the wall shot down. Mata has since crossed on the other side, but there it is. Take it down the first line of defense, and Jangler going to find the second spike to be planted. This is a pretty great start here with rifles in hand for Noble. Looking to tie us up two to two. Gravity well out towards the back of the side. Unfortunately, nothing to be found on the back end. We're gonna get caught in the cypher trap and King sniffs out Seb, spots the head and takes him down. Now it's all up to Ye. The safe spot here for Anbox. They can pick up another, almost a fourth there. 30 seconds left in the round, all 10 members still alive in Mata. 
jumps away at just the wrong second. Fires up the ultimate, not gonna find too much. Can you go HP towards the back of the site? Three kills, so make it two quick kills and a resurrection, but they're answered right back, so the numbers cut down now, evened up once more. Back and forth we go, the rolling thunder, and boy, oh. able to find the kill, man, it still gets it done. Vice has to do so much here in a 1v2, but he's full HP. Phantom in hand, does have the fault line, spots out one, unsure of the other, it's Menace looking to flank around, lower on HP is that jet, no ultimates available, an aftershock and a fault line, seven rounds in the magazine, and it's a rifle for Menace, he's gonna be the first to peek through the box, he'll go, it's a 3k on the round, and Noble reclaim a lead. The only thing I want to do... To sum that round up on how Noble wins, is I want this inside spawn. You can see King being very wary, trying to clear his way over towards B side instead. We'll lock it down. Paranoia comes through. The kills are just gonna I follow off that. the back end, and that wasn't your utility, but instead it works in your favor. Two for two across the board, though, as the B side looking to get opened up here. The neural theft. They get so much information. No just way. Just locked inside. No Mata goes wide on the shot. Seb is there to trade it back, but again, that spike to come through. He might even catch the Sage by himself. Indeed, he does as Seb was covering heaven. And now time is dwindling. Seb trying to jump back in, but to no avail. Noble building that lead right back. We plan up towards Lockdown heaven instead. Well. It's going to be a menace position. There go the knives, and Seb not able to cut down menace. Who will do that instead with the Blade Storm? And once more, they put themselves in a favorable position. Alt towards the back of Spawn, and boy, actually gonna stick it. So, trying to get something done here. That turret, though. Yep. Be able to stunt this push for a moment. And it's gonna go way up in the sky. Oh my goodness. All the ultimates used here in this round, and they've been used perfectly. It's down to boy in a 1v5. And on the other side of a shrouded step, he meets Jang. It's a crunch on A side, and finally get themselves. A big chance at a round. Tough retake for Noble in this situation. Well, things get a bit easier as Mata looks to go aggressive up towards heaven with the blast packs. Unfortunately, taken down on the round. And I don't know if Ye was spotted out. I believe Noble no, just did their due diligence. All four members going to push up onto ramps. And two of them are going to be taken out there. Seb able to trade back the kill, but... That did not go how you were expecting it. If you are Anbox, the spike, or the spike, excuse me, is planted up top for heaven. So you can see what they were trying to get done as the Guardian goes through the smoke. Zekin just going to stick it low HP on. So the spike is going to be planted. And there could be a cosmic divide based off of this. Rolling Thunder to try and answer back. They're going to go right for the lockdown. And they're able to take it down. So, so much space lost in response. And now a kill on the back end. As Noble was stunned up from that breach ultimate. Menace was able to find a kill with the operator in hand, but they have to continue to go to work. And box up. One player here on the retake. And Menace, unfortunately, coming out of the dark cover. Does not spot out by too good for two. Neural theft still available, but it's not necessary. And box able to isolate. Actually, he might push through and get into elbow. No, forced to back off thanks to the paint shells. And caught. But. Yeah, and the information is there, right? Zekin probably spotted out both members as Menace taking so much time, giving a lot of respect. Now spotting that open push on the site means free entry towards this A. When I say free, I don't necessarily mean all the way for free. They have four members still to worry about for Ambox, and they're down one. It's the shorty shot from downtown. Takes away the camera, so no information from the shadows. Also very scary. You have to be wary about where Boy is playing. Gonna push on the side, has to go right through the aftershock. Maybe not expected the knives go good for one. Not able to find a second, but a bit of means a pretty good thing. As the guiding light can get information, Noble just or Noble, excuse me, Menace just trying to get out of dodge. I guess all of Noble looking to get out of dodge with the paint shells coming on through. Mata queues up the boombot for just a second, but opts into hanging on to that one. And mm. the sky yeah. off the board means you don't have the heal. So Menace needs to be careful. Indeed. Even exchange basically between be heaven and kind of mail room and now you're actually seeing vice push through middle and get a sewers flank in there's two players already rotated a heaven through ropes now you even see boy making his way through back hall so ambox have the right read they're in the right place and mata catches a big kill at ramps that was weird. rubber arms spike is planted sometimes it'd be like that menace up close and personal. And hey, Zekin, just trade me here. I've only got 20 health. 
do look for that trade, unfortunately, able to find it, but there it is with the paint shells. One more kill means paint shells back online, but boy, taking the fight right to him. Unfortunately, he runs out of ammunition. 22 health to his name. Godding Light comes in now, so he can call for rotation, but it's probably gonna come a little bit too late as Mobile are pouncing on the site. Seb, though, that's massive. That gives this team a little bit of a lifeline now to recover. And speaking of lifeline, Sage up top from the heaven area, looking to cut down the last in king, only a ghost in hand and able to do. Yay can focus a bit more in middle, can make an easier rotation to help out A when needed. Seb stalling types with the cage. They know what's ahead now. Here. Last round, time ran out. Ooh, Menace going way up top. A nice flash coming on through as well, I believe, by his teammate, but it doesn't matter. They wait it out, they find the kills. Menace on the site, blind all on his lonesome. Just a just. That could be a checkmate. Ooh, nice blind though. Oh, spots him out. Ye's able to go good for one, but Zekin trades it right back. So at the end of the day, uh, I mean, not a whole lot of damage from that position. And Mata in a pretty bad spot. Worse for wear when it comes to HP. The Rolling Thunder gonna go wide. Not gonna find the members they needed to, but as they funnel on through, they go one for one. Precision now stuck in place. The Aftershock gonna try and cordon him, him off to find the kill. And Jangler now needs to go huge in a 1v2. Camera not gonna spot him out just yet. The spike is planted, and Ambox are working against the clock. Body is not too incredibly close, but Vice, the first to contact. Believable to be the case. They were quite far away. Menace going to dash onto the site. Modify the first boy through the smoke. will find another, and Yay oh, is locking wow. it down. Flawless for Ambox. Yeah, I mean, the quite possibly Get isn't going to be here. expected, and there it is. Modify find the first. Nice flash from Vice. Looking for a second. Unfortunately, not able to find it. Jangler... Alerting with the idea, dropping down into ropes, is gonna do just that and finds the kill, absolutely huge there, resurrection off the table, two ultimates still available for this noble squad, we'll see how they use it, it looked like quite Watch possibly that cosmic divide coming down and there it is, it splits the A site, and they're looking to take it, they do still have to worry about Seb though, holding it down on the site and this has been home for that cypher, Zekin goes onto the side trying to clear out elbow, Mata's able to find another kill, pushing through the cosmic divide, able to escape out on the showstopper as well, and it all starts to fall apart, and guess what, the sixth man for Anbox now ticking down in the time. The spike since picked up. They've got the time to get it down and it's all up to Vice. What is going on? Precision does it again. Vice really slowing things down. Unfortunately, Seb not able to capitalize on the trap wire, but there it goes. Spike down on the ground. Couple playing up towards this Raptors area. There's the wall to block it off, but two for two across the map we go. Menace playing close corners with the judge in hand. Now the last one standing with judge in hand getting shot in the back. Needs to try to escape and he does, but with 16 HP, what more can he get? The resurrection for the cherry on top here. Zambox looks to push the match point. They start to run him down and it's the frenzy from Seb to get it done. And but that slow orb crushed him as they tried to come in. Zambox made a great rotation. The trade fragging was on point. They have just skyrocketed that mid a split, but Ye is standing inside the vent. Ooh, second aggressive for a pick. Boy catches second. Oh no, this might be it. This is looking like it's it. Two v five minutes with Get just a bucky finds a kill on Ye. Now has the blades online. Okay. We've got ourselves around, although down in manpower. Boy playing inside the dark cover. He's gonna get spotted out, but the right click comes through. And now it's a 3v2. And Box only up one player. And Menace still continuing to look to go to work. 68 health. Vice gonna cut him down. And Jangler needs to come up clutch.